Okay, we live. Okay, this is awkward occurrence or awkward entertainment. Please stop. I will rip your soul out, Daddy. I'll rip your soul out, you pathetic fuck! Okay, this is awkward occurrence or awkward entertainment. Okay, I had to record this video again because I had to put some more thought into this. So, again, Letitia Stout is being accused of slipping out her handcuffs and beating up one of the deputies in back of the transport van. And this was after 17 hours, 17 hours straight on the road. So, let me play the video I recorded first, then I'm going to go over my notes. All my thoughts. This is awkward occurrence for awkward entertainment. Okay, let's give it a second. Let's give it a second. Now, as you, you can see, I have some photos up of how long it takes to get from point A to point B. Now, Mr. Allen said they did not fly Leticia to Colorado, which they should have flown her, and uh, would have took more time, it would have took less time, and they wouldn't have stopped and had to get sleep. Either way, news is Letitia attacked a deputy along the way, so that's why they had to stop at a state over in Kansas and rest to the next day. Let's play this video. Which is just me talking. Now apparently, apparently, it's rumored in a funny story. This is very funny. Letitia Stouts attacks deputy on the way to Colorado. And let's get into this amazing story. One second, let me get my let me get my pointer. Let me get my pointer. Where's my pointers at? My pointer. Okay, I, I gotta point some stuff out to y'all. We're gonna look at how long it takes to get from South Carolina to Colorado and why shit don't add up. The teacher stops guy stops stepmother who is charged with his murder. Reportedly attacked the deputy on her way to Colorado. And I know y'all heard this story already. A few people have reported, reported it. So she was arrested in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. She was extradited to Colorado after a brief appearance in court in South Carolina on Tuesday. Now, I guess they left on the 3rd. She was released on the 3rd. So it takes 25 hours. I'm going to finish it out. I'm not going to let the video finish it out. It takes 25 hours to get the El Paso County, Colorado from Murder Beach. Which is why they should have flown her. But they drove her. Like, um, like it, it doesn't make sense to drive her. Save a lot of time. Who wants to drive 25 hours to Colorado? Nobody. Then it takes 17 hours to get from Murder Beach to Kansas City, Kansas. So if they were a little past Kansas City, maybe 18 hours. So it was 18 hours before she slipped out of the cuffs magically like Houdini. And then magically like Houdini or like Legion, like many, she attacked and beat up a deputy in the back of the van. This is so, this this is so amazing. This story is so amazing, y'all. So as you can see, 25 hours, 1,700 miles. Like you wanted them to drive her nonstop 1,700 miles. I thought they stopped in Kansas to take a break from driving. 
But it turns out, no. It, hours later, it turns out, no, she beat up a deputy and did some magic trick out of her handcuffs. Like, really? Really? Okay? Okay. So, my notes on the side. Now, uh, yeah, apparently, I'm reading my notes on the left. Apparently, she slipped out of the handcuffs 17 hours into the transport and managed to beat up a deputy. Beat him up so bad, they did report he had to go to the hospital. That's amazing. And that is one hell of a story, I got to say. Now, just when you think the television couldn't get any more odd, now just when you think the news or this news couldn't get any more odd, this possessed, this possessed woman right here, you see Letitia? I, I still believe she's innocent, but this possessed woman, possessed with Legion, slips out of her handcuffs like Houdini and lays the WWE smackdown on a deputy. More than likely, that deputy was bigger than her. Okay, that drive, <clears throat> that drive is over 20 hours, like I just stated. Like, from one end of the heaven to the other end of the heaven. So, you can see Murder Beach is way on the east coast. Way at the tip end of the east coast. And then, you're going past the middle of the United States over to Colorado. <clears throat> Of course, they ordered the drive. They could have ordered a plane. I'm still reading. They are only see what they are taught to see. Yeah, she will face additional charges for assault on the uh, officer, which I did say, wow. That, that is wow. Like you're already facing first-degree murder, um, child abuse, and some other charges. And you, you, like, fuck up and you do this. Now, they did say she was suicidal. They tried to put it in our heads that she's suicidal by telling us she wearing that suicidal vest. So, I mean, I'm thinking, I hope this woman doesn't really commit suicide. But doing something stupid like that is just dumb. It's just dumb. Like, come on, lady. You trying to... Get all this over with as peaceful as possible so you can go home whenever your trial starts and ends. Come on. It's looking more like they may, they may kill off Letitia character and we may not get a trial. Like, come on. Then I say, will Letitia make it to trial? I hope she does. Or will she pass away in the cell from a suicide attempt soon? Yes, yes, stay tuned for the next Stouts Family Saga. This is turning into a saga. This little event right here, right here with her pulling this trick and beating up a deputy is making this into a saga, a whole TV show. Now I'm still reading. And it's looking like they may find his body soon, they may not. They keep talking about it so they may find it. That's that's how the script may go. They may find find it in the script. But like out the blue, they may find his body like out the blue. Letitia slips out of the cuffs and beat up a deputy. And just wow. Like it is wow. It's, it's wow and wild. This is a wild story. Very wild. Okay, this has been Awkward Occurrence for Awkward... I'm going to get up out of here. This has been Awkward Occurrence for Awkward Entertainment. And I will see you in the next video.